I just kind of wanted to shock people. For, like I, I had the initial thought because I was watching um, the uh, the 1999 red carpet ceremony with uh, the creators of South Park, and they had went to the Oscars in drag just to see what people would say. And I thought, you know what? That's pretty funny. I think I might do that. And then afterwards, I was thinking it out, and I said, well. A lot of the teachers and a lot of the, the students might not be as comfortable with the, the kid in the dress, the guy in the dress, rather. So I wanted to see their initial reaction, and um, I have to say that a lot of people were very supportive about it. Oh, the students, that is. Um, the odd thing was a lot of the teachers were a little, I wouldn't say freaked out, but they, the way they looked at me and a lot of the staff and visitors that were adults visiting the school, they kind of gawked awkwardly at me. They were just kind of staring a lot, asking questions about the kid in the dress, you know, does he normally wear that? And um, I said uh, there was a, a teacher at the school, or a staff member, who, uh, who told guidance that I had told them that I was questioning my identity and sexuality. And the day after I wore the dress, I was called down to guidance. And the, the, the guidance counselor had asked me, well, I've heard you, you shocked a few people with that dress. Um, anything you want to tell me at all? And I said, oh, I just, I, I felt like wearing a dress. It was just such a magical day. It's picture day. And. Um, uh, she she told me what the, the staff member had said, and it sounds like something I'd say to shock someone, but uh, uh, I didn't say that, and it was just weird that that had brought, been brought up. And a lot of uh, teachers, I heard, that they were talking about me in the staff room, wondering if I had come out and was just, you know, it just it was going to come out, come to school in, in, in a dress. Um, I also did this to uh, to kind of just kind of see how a lot of the the, the students who are transgendered. Would kind of go th what they'd go through the ridicule and yeah no it's I, it was very refreshing to to see that uh, a lot of the 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 students at the KDHS are very liberal in thought and they're very open about it and very supportive. Just wanted to ask you uh, if if there were any worries about uh, whether actual trans youth would, would be offended by what you did. Um, not at all. Um, I'm I'm friends with most of the Gay Straight Alliance and they, when I went to the dress when I went to school in the dress and was initially not allowed to take the picture, uh, a lot of the students, including the, the Gay Straight Alliance, were saying, let him take the picture, let him, you know, they were yelling at the, this, this poor photographer. And uh, I, I just kind of, you know, calmed them down, said, it's, it's okay, I'll just go to the office. But I just thought that it was really awesome that, that, that they were that supportive and they weren't, that, that they, they weren't offended by it. And then you talked a little bit about some of the harassment you, you've experienced. Can you describe a little bit of that and what that's been like? Uh, because I have a really high voice and I was raised by a sister and a female cousin, I have very flamboyant mannerisms and uh, oftentimes people think I'm gay. And in grade school I used to get, you know, I get scrawled across my locker, I'd be called just awful things. And I just kind of have a soft spot in my heart for a lot of people who, who are out and are part of the LGBTQ community.